In this tutorial, we're going to compile, debug, and version control a C program using Emacs as an IDE for everyday programming tasks. Source code for this tutorial is prepared in a Git repository. Open a shell and clone the repository in a directory called Tutorial. Meta X shell git clone git at mantlepro.com colon tutorials slash emacs slash basic underscore c basic underscore c and a quick ls of the files. Next we're going to find the example.c file using tab to autocomplete control x control f exam tab and there it is. It might be useful here to invoke control x1 to make the window fill its frame. Emacs is aware that this is a C file with some nice syntax highlighting and a capital C in the mode line. Let's get some quick help with the mode we're in with control hm or f1m. Review the key bindings on this page and scroll the window with meta next prior or alt page up page down. To compile the source code, run meta x compile and type the desired command. For this case, we'll accept the default to use the makefile. Using meta x compile and recompile in Emacs versus running commands in the shell allows you to use the next error and previous error functions to go directly to file and line number. Read more about the next error function with control hf next error return. Let's go to the next error to fix the missing semicolon. Meta g n. Next recompile with meta x recompile. And y to save. Now that our code is compiled, we're going to open a shell and run the example program with meta x shell dot slash example. So it looks like we're getting the first printf from the first function and then a floating point exception. Let's debug. Run meta x gdb to open the grand unified debugger. I should point out here that tramp can be used to debug on a remote system. But for our case, we're going to debug locally using the defaults and R to run our program in GDB. Notice the arrow on the left column in the gutter. So for brevity, let's typecast the return statement. Recompile with meta x recompile. And run GDB again. Meta x GDB, return, and R to run the program. Great, now it looks like we see output from all three of our functions. And for good measure, we can even run it again in the shell by switching to our shell buffer with control X B, arrow to shell and return. Fill the window with control X one, and then run dot slash example from our history using meta P for previous command. Now that our C file is working, let's go back to the example dot C buffer and commit with control X VV for VC next action. Add a change comment, and then Control C, Control C when finished, or Control C, Control K to abort. If this was a new project without an initialized repository, Emacs would prompt to select a preferred VCS in VC Next Action. Various version control system functions are available in menu under Tools, Version Control. To access the menu, use F10, or in text mode, Meta Backtick. T V. If you liked this video, press like and leave a comment in the section below. For more videos like this one, subscribe to the channel. I'm your host, Josh Wheeler, and hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.